said yeah take it outside and burn it hey what's up you guys shortness prime here doing another mcfarland toys action figure review on the wave one game of throne action figures we have Daenerys, Jon snow Arya, and night king i gotta give a big thanks to mcfarland toys for making this review possible and if you want to see the latest from them check the link in the description below and if you're trying to pick up these figures you can order them from entertainment earth link in the description below and i'm honestly not a game of thrones fan but i really do appreciate mcfarland toys sending these out my way and I did want to get a close look at them and you can see on the side you get these little read-ups over here so if you want to read that go ahead and pause it right now and it's the same on each of the side of the packaging so you can see the names and then you can see the crests associated with their families and King Ghidorah which is neat well Night King doesn't have one and then here's a look at the back of the packaging and they have the same card on the very back and there's this Viserion dragon base that looks really cool I like that so that looks pretty awesome and nothing more on this side on the top or the bottom so let's get to it and crack these things open and here are the four figures out of the packaging and they all look really good as far as the sculpted detail and paint apps go. I think that's a very impressive aspect to all four of these figures. Uh, one thing though is that they don't have the same kind of spectacular articulation that we've seen with the Fortnite figures from McFarlane Toys. But there's still some good stuff going on over here and we have some very good looking accessories. So let's get a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at the figures. Now all four of these figures do have their own Game of Thrones stand as you can see right over there nice text looking good and you get a peg that sticks out and then for Arya Stark we get this dagger I don't know if it has a different name or not but I think it looks really good I like the silver paint apps nice red paint right over here and the gold looks really good happy with that and we also get a sword for Arya as well some gold paint right over here I don't remember anything snapping off right over here but I can see how like the paint just stops right there so it may just came like that or that's the design anyway but yeah I really like that silver paint so to be honest I've only seen all of season one and about the first five episodes of season two and then the red wedding scene because I wanted to check that out out of curiosity and this does look like Arya Stark from that red wedding scene or she wasn't really part of that scene but yeah I remember seeing the character and I think that this figure really looks like the character very much so. I think they did a really good job with that. I really like the attention to detail with the pink cheeks right there, you know? She has the pink rosy cheeks, so I think that looks really good. Uh, the hairline gets a little sketchy with the paint apps, but mostly looks pretty good to me. I do like how the hair is sculpted over here, so not too bad. But I'm really impressed with the wardrobe on the figure. I mean, man, that looks great with all that textured detail and the paint apps. Man, I mean, on all four of these, it just looks really good. So I'm very pleased with that. You got the gloves right over there. Nice gold paint for that buckle. And there's looking at the back of the figure. And you can see like her skirt right here has this nice textured pattern right there. So really sweet and it's made out of this soft material right there. So that's not too bad. You do see uh, the older ratchety joints which aren't my favorite. Uh, nice wrinkles in the pants though and you can see some more of that texturing so there's texturing just through and through on this piece you do get a peg hole only for the right foot right there and there's a closer look at the boots so for the aria articulation you can move the head up just a bit right over there the head and the neck are connected as one piece so it's really the neck moving up and forward you get side to side motion and you get some head tilting right over there or pivoting anyway uh, shoulders move outward that far you can move them down rotate forward rotate back uh, you get a single jointed elbow elbow, rotation at the elbow, and then the wrist can hinge side to side or move up and down depending on how you have that configured and you can swivel it right there. Uh, you do get a waist joint that turns side to side, uh, doesn't crunch forward or back and doesn't really have any pivoting. Uh, the hips don't really move too much. Uh, she can kick forward that much and back that much and I'm not feeling an upper thigh swivel there but there is a knee swivel and she bends 90 degrees at the knee and then you have a ball joint at the ankle so her ankle can move down, up, side to side and you do get some ankle pivot. And then aside from the base we get these accessories right here for the Night King and they look really cool. I really love this translucent plastic. That looks great. I really like the sculpt on it as well. That looks really dope, man. I'm very pleased with that. Get this edge right over here. And then the handle looks really good. Nice little dots with the silver paint right over there. So I'm liking that. And we have this weapon as well. Again, that looks very realistic. Looks like it's made out of ice. So I'm very pleased with that. Get some wrap going around right there at the bottom. 
Again, good looking handle on these. Now, I'm not very familiar with the Night King at all, but I do like this head sculpt. It looks awesome. I really like the blue paint apps that we're seeing right over here. Nice sculpt. I like those bright blue eyes. That looks very cool. Yeah, man. Very pleased with that. You can see all the details right over there on the top of the head. And then the rest of them looks really good. You get this nice frosty blue color throughout. So that is pretty dope. I'm liking that. Again, nice textured in the sculpt. Right there on the shoulder looks really good. You can see the ratchets and little straps over here. The hands look pretty good. I like that. Really good looking flesh tone on this. So that is very awesome. I really like these blue highlights throughout on the figure. That looks really cool to me. Really digging that quite a bit. And this splits open right over here. You can see the texture detail for the legs. And there's the boots. And uh, you're not seeing so much of the blue paint on the shoes right over here or right over the feet anyway, but that's okay. And then he does have one peg hole on the right foot. And for the Night King articulation, again, the head and neck are connected as one. He doesn't look up at all, but can look down a tiny bit. You get side to side motion right here and some head pivoting just a little bit. Shoulders move outward, they move down. You could rotate forward, rotate back. Uh, there is a bicep swivel in there, single jointed elbow, and then rotation at the elbow, and then the wrist can turn side to side and hinge side to side or up and down depending on how you have it configured. You get a waist swivel, hips move outward very far because we get those cuts on the sides right there. Uh, he will kick forward that much and back a bit and no upper thigh cut. Single jointed knee that does not meet 90 degrees. You also get a swivel at the knee Then the ankles move down a little bit, barely move up. You could turn them side to side and a little bit of ankle pivot. And then here's all the accessories that we get with Jon Snow. Looking pretty sweet over here with this icy dagger, right? Is it an icy dagger or is this made out of bone? But it is translucent so it's making me think it's made out of ice. But I really like the sculpted detail and I love the paint apps right over here. It looks very cool. And then we get his sword, which, oh, it did snap on me as I was trying to get him to hold it. I glued it back together. But we get this nice looking wolf right over here at the very bottom of the hilt. So that's pretty cool. And we get some nice silver paint apps right over here. I do like the variants of silver right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think the reason for the snapping is I should have heated up his hand first. These fingers really wrap all the way inward. And the plastic was pretty stiff. So yeah, definitely heat. Oh man, yeah, the fingers don't want to bend much at all, so definitely heat this up first. Then here's looking at Jon Snow. I see Jon Snow here still, but I just don't think that they 100% nailed it. Uh, those of you that are a lot more familiar with the show, please let me know what you think in the comment section. But I do like how the beard looks, you know, a little bit of sparse uh, hair right over there. So it's pretty realistic looking, I think, you know. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be that sparse in the show. You guys let me know in the comment section. But he does look pretty sad right there on the side. You can see his little, uh, he's got it all bun bunched up right there in the back. So not too bad on that hair sculpt. And then looking at his armor and everything, that looks awesome. Like the little wolves that you can see right there. Nice gunmetal color. That is very cool. I love all the textured details throughout right here too. That is freaking awesome. Nice shingles and everything right there on the side of the arms. You can see the color variation. Yeah, man, that looks very cool to me. I don't know, I'm just very pleased with that. And you can see all the little gashes and everything right there. So it looks like it was all hand sculpted. It just looks so detailed. I have my gripes with the hands, as I mentioned earlier. I feel like, you know, the fingers just were just too long. But looking right over here, you get this little belt hanging over. Nice detail right there with the belt and the little silver bits. There's a buckle. And then you can see this flaps open and everything, so you can see the texturing on the legs. And then his boots look pretty good, like that. And he has a peg hole only on the right side, and then there's the top of the feet. Uh, the head and neck will move up just that much, so it's just really looking forward. Uh, but it can look down a lot more so. You get side to side motion right here, and good head pivoting. The uh, shoulders move outward that much, they move down. You could rotate a full 360. Single jointed elbow that does meet the 90 degree mark, and then you get wrists that turn side to side. And they hinge side to side or up and down, depending on how you have it configured. Uh, you can reach in there, grab him by the legs, and then turn the waist swivel side to side. Hips move outward all the way, and he will kick forward that much and back. No thigh cut, but we get a knee swivel. Single jointed knee does not meet 90 degrees. And then the ankles move down. I pop that off the ball peg right there at the ankle. So you can get the ankle moving down that much, up that much. And you do get side to side rotation and ankle pivot. And then here's the accessories that we get with Daenerys. And I'm sorry, I don't know what all these are. Uh, they look like little chess pieces to me, right? You get a little horsey right over there. Looks like it's made out of wood. Not looking too bad. I like the color variation. It's hollow at the bottom. This looks cool. 
Uh, this looks like a sundial thingy. I, I don't know what it is, but yeah, you guys let me know in the comment section if you'd like. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really look like a sundial. It has an arrow through it, and then we get this little helmet statue or chest piece right over here. Not looking too bad. I don't know if they're supposed to be made out of copper or wood. And here's looking at Daenerys, and I do remember the Daenerys for sure. I mean, yeah, she's a pretty good looking character I remember from the show. I remember all those scenes and everything with Aquaman, but yeah, the, the head sculpt looks just a little off to me. I, I think it's the eyes. I think they're a little too far apart or something. I don't know, but overall, it doesn't look too bad. I think they could have added maybe a little bit more red lipstick right over here or something. I, I can't pinpoint exactly what it is, but uh, I don't know. There's something just a little off. But I do like the rosy pink cheeks once again. That looks really good. And the hair is sculpted out very nicely as well. You get some color variation in there. So I'm digging that. Hair looks really good. Very long. And I don't know if this is dragon skin or something. Uh, I, I don't really know, but I like it. And then here's looking at the top. Looks really good with that chain thing going around. Like that. And then she has a ring on the right side. So nice texturing right there for the clothes. Looks really, really well done. And it splits right over here on the side so you can move the legs around a little bit. And then you can see uh, the actual legs right there. Has texturing and then some straps around the boots and everything. You get that peg hole on the right foot only again. And then there's a the top of her feet. And for the Daenerys articulation, uh, you can move the neck and head up that much and down a bit more so. You get side to side motion and good head pivoting. Shoulders move outward that far and down all the way. You could rotate a full 360. You get some soft material right over here. Single jointed elbow, which does meet 90 degrees. You get rotation at the elbow. Then the wrist turns side to side and hinge up and down, or you can make it move side to side depending on how you have that configured. Uh, you do get a waist swivel in here, so you have to reach in there and grab her by the legs and turn side to side. Uh, you can move the legs outward just, oh, that much and then you can uh, kick forward that much and back a little bit no thigh rotation but you can rotate the knee and then the knee bends at 90 degrees tricky to see with all that in the way but you can see it bend actually yeah right at 90 degrees right there and the ankles oh I just popped the ankle off but you can see how it is a ball joint right there so I could just pop it right back on move the ankle down up side to side and you get some ankle pivot I don't know how accurate these scale together so you guys would have to let me know in the comment section below uh, but to measure them out, you can see Jon Snow is standing just a little under the six and a half inch mark, as long as the Night King and then Daenerys is a little over six inches, and then Arya is around the same height as Daenerys. And then for a size comparison, here's the four Game of Thrones figure. Next to your average six inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends big time classic Spider-Man. So I really don't think these are bad looking figures at all, and if you're a big fan of Game of Thrones, I think you're going to like these pieces. They are not the most articulated Game of Thrones figures I think I've ever seen, but at the same time, I think they look look pretty good. As me not really being really into the show, uh, I gotta give this a sud rating of meh. And I think I would have a higher sud rating if this was something I was really into, but yeah, at the moment, you know, I'm not too thrilled about Game of Thrones. I don't know. It's just always been one of those shows I wish I liked more. I think giving it a full season one viewing and half of season two viewing was a pretty fair shot, but yeah, just not my thing, man. And I can understand why people really like the show a lot. I don't think it's bad or anything. It's just, yeah, I just didn't really like it that much. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all the patrons that support this YouTube channel. If you're interested in signing up, link below. And if you want to see the latest in action figure news and a photo gallery of images, you can find it all over at toynewseye.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. Links all in the description below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Uh, posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, I'm sure I Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.